Is your job about to get automated? Yes, probably. It's already happening in some unexpected places. See if your occupation is safe. In an interview last week with the American Enterprise Institute, Bill Gates confirmed that yes, the rumors are true. Robots will be taking your jobs. Software substitution, uh, you know, whether it's for drivers or waiters or uh, nurses or even you know, whatever it is you do. But what occupations specifically are at risk? Well, let's take a look at where some automation is already happening. First up, you may have heard there was an earthquake in LA earlier this week. Breaking the story unwittingly were these anchors from KTLA. Yep, we're, we're having, having an earthquake. earthquake. But the first article published about the quake was actually generated by an algorithm from the LA Times, plugging in just the key facts. 4.7 quake, Monday morning, Westwood, California, 6.25 a.m., etc. That Robo article posted just a short few minutes after the quake, and the LA Times says that they use algorithms for homicides or other breaking news stories, and we can probably expect this trend to continue. But nothing could ever replace the pure sensitivity and emotion of human reporters, right? 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 just my mom. Eh, maybe not forever. The movie Her showed us a fantasy of what life could be like with artificial intelligence complex enough to have a personal relationship with, even bicker with. And some AI companies like Beyond a Verbal are hoping to build the foundation to this with emotion analytics. A free app called Moody says it can read not only your words, but your feelings with what they claim to be an 80% accuracy rate. Reading emotion might be one thing, but conveying emotion is a different story. And what could possibly ever replace a human artiste like a musician? Maybe this guitarist with 78 fingers compared to your measly 10, or a drummer with 22 arms compared to your two. These play as part of a band called Z Machines. And it's not just an experiment. Z Machines is actually releasing an album this April, so look out for that. But moving away from the humanities, what about an autonomous mall cop that can see, hear, and even smell your suspicious behavior, predicting crime through a wide range of sensors and cameras? The Nidoscope K5 could slash crime in half in enclosed areas like malls, airports, or campuses, according to its makers, replacing 1.3 million security guards in the US. It's currently in beta testing through 2014 and early 2015. And don't bother trying to tip it over. If you do, it makes a very annoying sound and you'll probably get in trouble. Finally, in all seriousness though, Oxford University did do a real study on what jobs are most likely to be automated, looking at factors like social and creative intelligence and making their predictions. What did they find? The most at risk, loan officers, followed by receptionists, paralegals, retail, and chauffeurs. Among the safest are teachers, lawyers, and unsurprisingly, priests. And if you're interested in looking at the full results, I'll leave them in the show notes below. So what's your reaction to Bill Gates' comments? Do you find them to be true? Is your job safe under this criteria? Let me know what you think on Twitter, Google, Facebook, or VK. All at Andy Gauss. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.